Hi clarinets, Miss Mortimer here and today we're going to have a look at a little brown jug. Let's start with an F major scale today. So this is on your grade one scales. We're going to go F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G and low F, which remember is that key there. Or you can play it with this sticky out key here. Here we go, let's play it slurred. So tongue the first one and then slurred. Three, four. it tongued as well. Okay so on to Little Brown Jug. Now then in our key signature we have got a B flat just like the scale that we already played so that means we're here we are in the key of F major. F is an important note here you can see that it is the last note of the piece in fact. We are in the time signature of 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. Four beats in a bar. And then it's got relaxed swing written over the top. Now, what that means, swing, is where we don't play our quavers evenly. Quaver, quaver, quaver. But we make the first one of each pair a bit longer and the second one of each pair a bit shorter. So it actually goes one and one. Long, short, long, short, long. And you often find this in a lot of jazzy music. So some people will say jazzy, jazzy, jazzy and that's what we call swung quavers. So for example, the first bar, if I play it without any swing, as we normally would, now if I play it with swing, I'm gonna make that first quaver a bit longer. Okay, and it gives it more of a jazzy feel. Before we read through this piece, there's just two notes we're gonna have a quick look at. We have got an A flat in bar 16. A flat is this corner key here. And remember, you just play it with the inside of your finger like that. Don't press it with the point of your finger, just like that. And then the other one we're gonna need is an F sharp. I think you probably remember that one. It's your front finger. There's your normal F, there's your F sharp. Okay, so now we're going to go through the tune line by line. We're going to clap the rhythm, say the notes, and then have a go at playing it. So first line, here we go. One, two, and three, and four. So we've got lots of quavers tied to a minimum, a two beat note. So that means they come just before the beat. It's like an and, we go quaver and, quaver and, quaver and. Okay, now let's say the notes. We've got a low A, two lines, two fingers, A, C, C, B flat, because of the key signature, B flat, D, D, E, E, D, E, F, G, A. Here we go. First line, one, two, and three, and four. Okay, second line, let's clap the rhythm. Starts out the same as the first line. One, two, three, four. Three, four. And really that last bar is leading on to the next line of music. Okay, again, some of the same notes we've already seen. We go A, C, C, B flat, D, D, E, E, D, E, F, F, and then A, C, A, C. Okay, let's play the second line now. One, 
Now our third line, the rhythms start to get a little bit more tricky. So we have a quaver rest and then we're going to play that F at the start of the third line on the AND before the second beat. So it'll go three, four, AND one. And the last bar of the third line is the same as the last bar of the second line in terms of its rhythm. Okay, now for our notes we've got F, D, B flat, A, G, C, C, A, G, F, F, D, F, D, F. Okay, let's play it. Third line. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now let's clap the rhythm. One and two and three and four. Three, four. Two, 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 three, four. Okay, notes. We've got our A flat coming up. G, A flat, G, F, D, E, E, D. E, F, F, G, F sharp, G. Let's play it. One, two, three, four. We have got note wise G, normal F, that sign just means back to your normal F, F natural, G, two, three, four, E, F sharp, G, A, A, two, A, two, F, two, three, rest, F, F. Here we go, last line. One, two, three, four. Okay, so when you've got your notes and rhythm sorted, it's time to look at the articulation. We've got lots of slurs, for example, the first two notes. So remember, you tongue the first one and then slur to the next one that's joined up by the line. Then we've got some staccato dots, like the little full stops underneath the notes in the third bar that we play in. And remember, that's when your tongue goes straight back on the reed after you lift it off. As light and as short as you can. So we've got a real direct contrast between our slurs, very, very smooth, and staccato, very, very short and detached. We've also got some accents. We don't see accents a lot, but they are on the second line. Every time we get this pattern, the two Fs together, there is an accent on the F quaver. And that just means give it a bit of a punch. Play it with a little bit more emphasis than usual. Okay. Next up is our dynamics. So have a look through, work out where the loudest part of the piece is 
and the quietest part of the piece and check that you can play your low notes nice and quietly and your high notes nice and loudly without them squeaking. Okay, and when we've done all of that, it's time to perform the piece. So with a relaxed swing feel, nice, cheerful, jazzy style. Here we go. One and two and three and four. Thank <laughs> you. 